up in flames. That's exactly what happened to these red and black hurricane warning flags in Key West this weekend, but not before. They were soaked in lots and lots of rum. The ceremony marked the official end of the 2025 Atlantic hurricane season. Nice tradition they have going on there, and that, of course, is indeed something to celebrate. Yes, we always love when it is <laughs> over and the season may have seemed quiet for us, as Dave mentioned, but as storm after storm missed the U.S., they packed a punch elsewhere. Certainly that was true in Jamaica, unfortunately. Next weather meteorologist Scotty Withers explains. Here in South Florida and across the southeastern United States, we become accustomed to landfalling hurricanes and tropical storms, but there was something different this year. Hurricane winds and storm surge devastating the coast. Of Jamaica. Back at home, not a single hurricane landfall in the U.S. this season, the first time in a decade. It was a pretty benign season from the for, from a continental U.S. perspective. Actually, only tropical storm Chantal came ashore this year, and that was in the Carolinas. The rest of the storms stayed out in the Atlantic or rolled through the Caribbean. So perspective is what matters. While quiet here in the U.S., it was still busy. Overall, um, it will officially be classified as an above normal season. There were 13 named storms, five hurricanes, four of them major hurricanes. Melissa was a monster hurricane, rapidly intensifying in just a few hours, from a tropical wave to a Category 5 hurricane. It tied for first of all-time strongest Atlantic landfalls, matching the 1935 Labor Day storm and Hurricane Dorian in 2019. Melissa wasn't the only monster we saw this year. Aaron was also a Cat 5, so was Umberto. Gabriella clocked in as a Cat 4. It wasn't just the fact that we didn't have a landfall in the U.S. It was also that the Gulf was eerily quiet. There generally was pretty strong levels of vertical wind shear in the Gulf. I mean, we just didn't really have many storms even coming in that direction. We've gotten used to busy hurricane seasons. We had six landfalls in 1886, 1985, and 2020 the most on record. I mean, if you look globally since 1990, we actually see a significant decreasing trend in the overall number of hurricanes, hurricane strength systems since 1990. And a lot of that is likely due to this trend towards La Nina. It doesn't matter what happened this season. When next season rolls around, it's going to be important that we all be prepared. In the historical record, there's only been one landfalling tropical system in the state of Florida in the month of December. It was on December 1st, 1925, 100 years ago today. I'm Next Weather Meteorologist Scotty Withers, CBS News, Miami.